Hey guys, it's uh, Wayne Santos, one of the editors over at CGM, and I am here with our good friend from Canadian Online Gamers. Hey, Sean. Nice to meet you, everybody. Hello. Glad to be here. Yeah, and um, we're here at the uh, Namco Bandai. No, actually, it's Bandai, Bandai Namco. Bandai Namco. You gotta get Bandai right Namco. Now. Bandai yeah. Namco. Gamers the... Day, Americas, and we are worshiping at the uh, Nirvana. The yeah, because as I've been dating myself, but uh, <laughs> I. You know, I was in college when Nirvana was big, so to me, I'm just like, oh man, Kurt. We well, you're showing your age a little bit. I was uh, in high school, but yeah, this is legendary. These are real guitars touched by the men themselves, yeah. so pretty impressive here yeah. at the Hard Rock Hotel. Yeah, I mean, behind us, we've got like you know actual letters from Kurt and Courtney, and it's like it's 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 actually I'm making impressed. me. I'm impressed. It's making me nostalgic right it's now. It's actually tear up. It's making me a little bit sad because oh, yeah, you no, I mean seriously, it's like have a tissue? yeah, you 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 look at this <laughs> stuff and it's just like. <laughs> Kurt was telegraphing his intentions a mile away. Yeah. And, okay, but we're not talking anyway, about sad stuff we yet. Digress. No, we're no, we're yeah, we're, we're, we're here about, about video games, games aren't yes, we? Aren't we're talking we? about video, video games. games. Namco showed off a bunch of stuff. Yeah, a they, lot of stuff. They weren't afraid to throw everything in our faces, were they? They they basically gave us everything that they've got coming out this year, and it's a lot. Yeah. I mean, it is a lot of stuff. Except for Dark Souls 2 on the PS4 and Xbox One, they didn't announce that. But they I know it's coming. It's coming. Actually, they, they danced around it. We talked to them about it, and yeah. they said, well, you know, they did the deflection. But you could see it in their eyes. They're serious. It's coming. Okay. It's only going to be a matter of time. Okay, so what are your impressions then of some of the stuff? You, was there anything standout for well, you? For, for me, I mean, like we had already spoken about earlier, it, they're unapologetically Japanese. They're not afraid that they're... They're not afraid to, to say that we are a, a company that makes Japanese games, and there's a Western audience there that's going to love them for what they are. Uh, but that being said, for Western gamers, there are a few things that they are doing that will definitely appease them. Number one on my list, I know you've got to take a good look at it, is Lords of the Fallen. Okay, Lords of the Fallen, yeah, you know, aka the Dark Demon Souls. Souls. 2.5, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, they did say that it's a little bit more story driven. We're not going to be dealing with the same punishing difficulty, yeah. which, uh, you know, he, I, I believe he made the point of saying we don't want people to throw their controllers across the room. Yeah. That is, that's very much not Dark Souls. Yeah. I mean, for for me, the interesting thing about Lords of the Fallen is the fact that okay, yeah, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, they've got what we'll refer to as embedded narrative, yep. which just means that the story is in there somewhere, you but you got to go looking it, for it. Really yeah, gotta look yeah, for it. it's in there, but you got to dig it up. Okay, that's but right. they're saying that for Lords of the Fallen, this is going to be a lot more straightforward. Will you have cutscenes and other things telling you what's going on, so that you're never lost as to. Why exactly am I here? What am, am I, I doing? here? Yeah, I mean, and they, some of the narrative that they told us about, I mean, what they were allowed to tell us um, was, uh, you know, your hero is actually a bad guy. You know, he was talking about how for every sin they commit, they get a tattoo put on their face, and this guy's just covered in tattoos for the bad things he's done. Yeah, so and he's the perfect guy to go out there and solve whatever problem it is that we're going to yeah. go and deal with. So the the hero is background. yeah, yeah, the hero is the ultimate sinner. That's so right. yeah, you you don't really get much more anti anti hero than that's that. That's right, right. That's right. So it'll be interesting to see when, once they give us a little bit more information. It's been mostly sneak peeks so far. Mm -hmm. So once we get a little bit more information, I, I mean, I'm excited at this point. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what else we're going to see coming E3 possibly and what what more they're going to reveal on that one. Okay. Uh, for me personally, my big highlight, and I did not see this coming. This is just like oh, total surprise. surprise for me. Was the um, short piece game? Oh, um, you know the the longest day. Um, I had no idea what I was looking at when I sat down and played with it. You know, I went and I talked to the guys, and apparently there's a um, series of four short films coming out in Japan, which are actually just supposed to be themed around. Japanese life, Japanese culture. culture They're right, basically right. just supposed to teach something about Japan. Right. Um, but after doing those four short films, they decided to do a fifth project, and this game is that fifth project. Yeah. And it's got the participation of Katsuhiro Otomo, the and, guy who did Akira. And the man Suda51. Suda51 is Suda 51. involved in that. So yeah, Suda51 and Katsuhiro Otomo worked on this game. Um, did you actually get a chance to talk with the developers? Um, I talked with them a, a, a little bit about the background of it, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the movie itself is out in Japan already. And right now, coming up into April here is where they're going to be releasing it in North America for a North American audience. So, you know, it'll give us a chance to take it in and see exactly what we're getting ourselves into to play the game. And uh, I would imagine you sat down and played the game a little bit, kind of a bit of a, a, a it's crazy. An endless runner type it's thing, crazy. but it's insane. It's super fast paced. I mean, you really got to stay on the ball to pay attention to what's going on in that. It's a really quick, quick moving game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like, yeah, uh, we've got an interview with the guy. You guys will be able to go and read that, but I'll just lay out one tidbit, which I thought was absolutely fascinating, is um, when Suda51 was asked to participate in this thing, he provided a scenario to the game developers. The guy I was talking to was one of the guys who actually made Tokyo Jungle, okay. 
okay. uh, on uh, the PlayStation Network. He took one look at the scenario that Suda51 had provided, and he was like, this is incomprehensible. I don't know. Classic I Suda. don't know how to make the <laughs> game that he wants. <laughs> so he actually just gave it a shot and did his best, despite the fact that he had no clue what was uh, going I on. Mean, that, that's... Do you get much more Suda 51 than that? Well, that's that? just it. It's classic Suda. You can look yeah. at a game yeah. like Black Knight Sword, and mm-hmm. yes, there's a narrative in there somewhere, <laughs> but you're looking at it going, what yeah. in the hell is, what is going, going on, on? Right now? Yeah. That's right. That's right. But people, that's why people love it. It's, yeah, 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 his yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. is okay. more visionary and artistically. Mm-hmm. You don't understand what's going on, but yeah. you really like looking at it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't have to get Salvador Dali to dig Salvador Dali. Salvador and Dali. it's the same that's thing right. with Suda 51. Yeah, so yeah. He's right. a master in his time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, there, there were actually a, a few highlights at the show. You know, it's like quite a bit. You know, there's going to be more info on this on um, the CGM website. So, you know, it's like check that out. Yeah, and there was a lot of information yeah. for, a, a, you know, for a 10-hour day. It was an E3 yeah. day of just more, 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 yeah. more. They got a lot on the horizon. Yeah. But you'll be able to find it on CGM and Canadian, Canadian Online, Online Gamers. Gamers. Yeah. Com. You yeah. betcha. So this is Wayne and Sean. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll see you guys later. Adios. Okay.